Is it a boy or is it a girl? Beginner's Guide, Part 7. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am that tarantula guy. Here we have Chica. This is my female grammar style polka piece. As you can see, she is a lovely big girl. And she is just sat there chilling. And today we are going to talk about sexing your tarantulas so let's get some malts out and have a look okay guys so as you saw that was my sub-adult female grammar style of piece and here we have every single one of her malts from when I first got her all the way through to her most recent one which is here and then obviously you've seen the size of her now so after last week we talked about molting tarantulas this week we're going to find out about sexing your tarantulas so if you've bought a tarantula or you've bought a sling and are growing it on um, nine times out of ten you're not going to know what sex it is if it's still a sling so we're going to have a look at some alts and I should hopefully be able to point out some details for you to look at on your own malts and help sex your own teas all right guys so this is Chica's first ever malt if it will focus Come on, focus. There we go. Okay, now, this is very small for a malt. So, if you've got malts like this, it's unlikely you're gonna be able to tell what sex it is from this, but we can have a look at the anatomy of the malt. So now when you get a malt, First thing most people notice are these. Now, this is the main body of the tarantula. And when they molt, as you saw in the last Beginner's Vibe video, the top, the carapace, pops off and then they slide out backwards. And each one of these holes is where the T's legs will come out of. So they will come out of this backwards and land on their back. So if I flip this over, see, so the T will lay and it will curl these legs forward, push out, and the mole will then come off and the T will land on its back. And then it will flip itself over and harden up. Okay, so these white spots, these are called the book lungs. These are how tarantulas will breathe. They inhale and exhale air throughout these four white spots. Now on the underside, you'll be able to see them. Now on your other T's, all tarantulas will have these four book lungs, it's how they breathe. And on the underside of your teas, before they molt, you'll be able to see these as well. They look like just four little white slits on their abdomen. So yeah, that is the book lungs. Now, the important bit that everybody wants to know about when sexing a molt is this bit between this first pair of book lungs. This is where you need to look. So, as we go throughout the molts, you can see 
they don't always come out perfect. Sometimes they get destroyed. Now, some tarantula species, they will chew on their molt after they've come out of their skin. They will squash it up, crunch it up, chew on it with their fangs because it holds moisture. So they will use it to almost like drink from. So sometimes if you're not quick enough, you will get a destroyed molt. Now, as we go further on through the molts, these last three came out pretty good. So we should be able to get an idea of what sex this tea is. Now, as you can see, this is the part that we're talking about. focus there we go okay so this part here between these two book lungs now this one I don't know how clearly you're gonna be able to see here I'll do my best guys get right up close on this for but yeah here we go now this line here now for a male there is normally nothing there, it's just a line, there's nothing there at all. But, it doesn't always show up. Because these teas, they take a long time to grow. Unless you have a microscope, it's hard to tell whether there's anything there or not. So, what I normally do is hedge my bets and wait for the next one. So we'll check on the next one. Come on, focus. There we go. Okay, and still, as you can see, there's not not a lot there. Now there's a bit of a slit here, but still looks like nothing. Now when we come to this one, this is her most recent molt. Now, does anybody else see anything there that looks different? Right here, this little bit right there, this is where you want to check guys, because as you can see right here, there was what looks like almost like a little flat it's on the inside of the malt it's like a little pouch now this is the epigastric furrow this is how female tarantulas reproduce uh, we will get into pairing and mating later on so I'm not going to get, get into that too much now but if you have a malt Soak it in some water, try and flatten it out as best as you can, and here you go. Like I say, these are all the same tarantula, guys. All the same tarantula. I keep I've kept every single one of her molts. So as I say, you can't see it from the early stages unless you had a microscope. It's hard to tell. But when they get to a decent size, then you sex the malt. There we go. There is the little pouch that they will collect the male's semen in. So that there is a dead giveaway for a female. Now, on either side of this little pouch, can't see them here very well. There are two little white spots. They are called the spermithica. But as you can see, we can't see them very well here. So let's have a look at another tea and see if I can show them to you. All right, guys. 
Hey guys, so here we have Charlotte, my Therophosa Sturmy. This is her most recent molt, and this is probably the best example of how I can show you. Just here. There we go. Just there, you can see that big pouch there. A big epigastric furrow. So, there you go, guys. That is confirmed female. Also, we have here, this is Genie, my big, freshly matured male Acanthus scuria geniculata. And here we go, I can show you the same place. Just there. And nothing, it's just, just this, a plain, piece of skin, no flap, no slit, no nothing. No nothing. So, we can be 100% sure that that is a male, just by looking at the malt. And also, we can be 100% sure. Now also I have here, this is Henrietta's malt, most recent malt, and as you can see, it hasn't come out the best, but you can see here, there is a big hole, big hole where the slit is, so the pouch has been detached, it's probably caught up in here somewhere, but you can see where the slit is, just there. So, even though I'm pretty sure Henriette is a female, I'm going to wait for the next molt. But, yep, female and a male. Hopefully you can see the differences there. You know, there's nothing in there. Absolutely nothing there at all. Whereas here, there is this big visible pocket. All right guys, so next thing that I wanna talk about is ventral sexing. I see it all the time on the forums of basically people posting pictures like this underside shots um, and normally the comment goes does anybody know what sex this is help sexing any ideas that those kind of questions I want to blow that out the water now ventral sexing doesn't work it's not accurate because for the simple reason all the bits that you need to be able to see to tell a difference are on the inside. They're not on the outside. So when you've got your tea up against the glass, you're not going to be able to positively identify if it's a man or a man, if it's going to be a boy or a girl. So the best way is to wait for a malt and then Get, get some, if you're going to post to ask, if you're not sure, wait for a malt, get some really nice close-up shots and then post because people will be able to answer your question more accurately if you've got a, a malting shot. Oh yeah, this, this is George. This, this was a gift from my girlfriend. Um... Yeah, so make sure if you're going to post questions asking, if you're not sure, don't don't try and just post a ventral shot because it's it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Um, I've seen it myself a few times on my own forum, uh, Tarantula Owners UK. Um, people have posted pictures asking, 
and other people have joined in and been, oh, looks like mine, blah, 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 that looks like a male. And then it molts and everybody was wrong. So, ventral sexing, just, it's not reliable, it, it's not accurate, and most of the time, if you post a ventral shot online and ask people if they know, they're just guessing. So, if you want to be sure, wait for a mole. Check the mole. Simple as that. Alright guys, well, I hope you learned something. I hope I answered some questions for you. Um, if you like the video, click the, link, uh, click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Ding dong that notification bell. Because then you'll know when I upload a new video. Because I get a lot of people, especially one guy, Lewis Ives. You ask me every single week, when's the next Beginner's Guide? Beginner's Guide videos are every Monday for a while. Until I run out of things to add to the Beginner's Guide. But yeah, Beginner's Guide every Monday and every Friday will just be just general things that go on with the collection. So there you go. Now you know, every Monday, Beginner's Guide. All right, guys, click the like. Click the subscribe and the ding dong the bell. And I want to ask you guys a favour. Um, if you like the video, if you've watched the video and you like it, share it. Share it all over the place. Uh, I really, really want to kind of spread and help as many people as I can in the hobby. So if you've watched the video and you like it, please do me a big favour and go and share it somewhere. Get some more people watching. And yeah. I will see you on Friday for the next video. Bye, guys!